Welcome to day 12 of my VCV rec experiments. I'm up loud and I'm doing a 50 day challenge to get to know VCV rec better. Today, I want to do a little experiment with some sine waves. Let's have a look at the very simple patch. Um, I have these three reference tone modules from Borg Audio. And as you can see, the first one is tuned to a low A at 55 Hertz. And that sounds like this. I have two others that are tuned to a higher A, A3, at 220 Hertz. And I have panned them left and right. And they sound like this. If I actually turn them on. And you can see in the scopes the, the phasing between these two and between these two. Uh, if you want to see the cabling, it looks like this. Pretty simple. Actually, turn that off. Okay. Now, what happens if we play with the fine tuning? You can see the scopes moving. So now it's 220.1 Hertz, which means every 10 seconds, this one has an extra cycle. So it's not 100% in sync with the other two. And that becomes more clear when we make the difference a little bigger. Even though now the two higher ones are at exactly the same pitch, there's still some phasing going on with the bass note here. Not sure why the scope keeps moving even though they're the same. Maybe there is a very small difference. Ah, oh yeah, that's all. Okay, let's try a bit more. And the dance goes on. The difference between these two is two hertz, so it means twice per second we get an extra sine wave, an 
extra cycle. And that's what we can hear and what we see in the scope. Three hertz extra, three extra cycles per second. This A is 38 cents higher, so just over a third of a half note out of tune. And that causes this interesting phasing effect. still hear that wavering that back and forth there. Both the higher ones are the same, and if you listen carefully, you can hear the difference with the bass. It's like there's the it's kind of tremolo in the bass now, but it's the phasing of the sine waves that get in and out of phase.
we can hear even though the meter says it's the same pitch it isn't actually it's a few hundreds of a hertz off and we can still hear that movement going some of the minimalists that I like uh, have made pieces of music with this kind of effects going on so that's what inspired me today to uh, try and see if this works for me Thank you for listening please like and subscribe and all that jazz and uh, see you back for another experiment tomorrow